Even some of the simplest cocktails have a fascinating story behind them. I'm Christian, and welcome to Cocktail History. So this week, it's all about the Moscow Mule. So picture this, it's the early 40s and in a legendary New York City bar, John G. Martin, who had just acquired the rights to sell Smirnoff Vodka, gets together with his buddy Jack Morgan, owner of the Cock and Bull Saloon, who also happens to be trying to get his ginger beer company off the ground. They combine both their products together to create a timeless classic. Fast forward to the end of the decade, John G. Martin goes around from bar to bar, taking pictures of bartenders with a copper mug in their hand and a bottle of Smirnoff. He then spreads the pictures from bar to bar all across North America. This is one of the first big marketing campaigns for a cocktail of its type. The Moscow Mule is classically served in a copper mug, which because of its conductivity, keeps the drink nice and frosty. So let me know which drink you want to learn about next.